This is Boxing Tickets NIE. We're here at the Warehouse in Red Cow for May Day Mayhem. Delighted to be joined once again with Kane Lewis. Kane, first six rounder obviously on Friday night. You're, you're probably fair to say you're coming in with confidence, obviously, and abundance, obviously, coming off two straight stoppage wins. Um, you're probably feeling the best you probably felt so far as a pro. Yeah, feeling good, you know. Um, feeling ready to fight Friday. But, um, yeah, six rounder. I'm expecting to go to rounds as well, you know tough lad in fighting so I'm um, expecting to get the rounds in which I'm happy with you know I want to get the rounds at this stage of my career and uh, get the experience as well so yeah I'm looking forward to getting in there Friday and putting on a good show. I guess obviously initially you're supposed to fight last month obviously and then the show was cancelled so sort of maybe a bit of a longer camp for you but I, I guess you're well accustomed to the life as a boxer nowadays that things can change very quickly it's probably an extra few weeks probably helped you to peak sort of at the right time. Yeah, definitely. You know, the last fight got cancelled, so I haven't stopped training since, you know, the camp. I've basically been in camp since that and just been in camp the whole way through. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling good, you know, and um, look, it is what it is. That's boxing. And look, it's happened to me last year. I had a bad year last year. A lot of shows cancelled on me and stuff like that. But So I'm used to it at this stage of my career. But look, um, look, I'm, fighting. I'm here now. I'm fighting Friday, so I'm ready to go and look, looking forward to that. Your opponent, obviously, on Friday night, Jan, Yin Cancedo. Um, obviously, I remember him fighting Kurt Walker, obviously, out in Germany. He sort of liked to try and bite Kurt that night. So are you sort of having to watch yourself in the clinch on Friday night? He tries to give you a love bite. Yeah, seeing that, he tried to bite him caught. But look, it is what it is. I just keep your range, you know, don't get too close and just go out there and box. I think I've seen in another fight, I think he headbutted an opponent as well. So he's obviously a bit of, bit of an angry fighter. But look, it is what it is, you know, go out there. If he gets angry, just expose and make him miss and make him pay, and that's the plan, yeah. I guess this is experience you've obviously had. Obviously, you your draw, obviously, in the Ulster Hall and things like that as well. Them experience will probably help you to deal with, obviously, this opponent who can be a bit of a live wire. Obviously, that sort of red mist you maybe have had in the past of just wanting to go for things. You've probably matured very, very well. Yeah, since that, you know, I've matured a lot as a fighter. Um, you know, that fight and I've said it here before I went out crazy you know and got clipped and I'll never do that again you know go out there and take my time this is a six round fight there's no need to, for me to be going out there and I'm putting the putting the pressure on from round one to round one to round six go out there take my time box nice you know and that's the plan so uh, yeah I'm looking forward to that so, so you're expecting it's going to go six rounds on, on, on Friday night I guess you don't know what's going to happen I guess when you're on this KO streak it could keep happening very quickly and I guess if he comes in sort of not sort of worried about what you're throwing you just don't know what can happen yeah I'm expecting to go to rounds you know because I think he's had like 24 fights I think and like, he's only been stopped three times you know and um, so look he's a tough lad I'm expecting to go the distance but look if the shot comes the shot comes and we'll see what happens but I'm ready for the six anyway and, and sort of are you looking at, at, at titles obviously now towards the end of this year I guess now that you're moving up to your first six you know are you looking maybe a couple before you go I guess it's probably the opportunity that's sort of there for you at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Look, I want to go for titles. Get this fight out of the way, and I'd love to get a shot at a Celtic title. You know, I'm ready for it. So, um, whoever's out there to fight, I feel like let's make it happen, you know. So, I'm looking forward to that, and hopefully I'll get a shot at a Celtic title after this. And, and I guess, obviously, it's closer to home sort of for you as well here as well. Obviously, you're having to fight in Belfast, and I know, obviously, your, your cancelled fight in Waterford, obviously, last year as well. Obviously, does this help you to help sell tickets any easier? Ah, definitely, yeah, you know, it's close to home, so, uh, you know, I don't live far from here, which is great for me, uh, great for friends, great for family. It's a lot easier to sell tickets as well, you know, a good crowd coming Friday, so uh, looking forward to it and uh, appreciate the support from everyone, it's brilliant. Uh. Well, listen, thanks very much for your time, obviously enjoy the press conference today, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you after your, your victory on Friday night. That's it, that's, that's it, that's the plan anyway, that's it. Cheers, Ken. thank you.